could have known that Ibiza has wines? And we're gonna have. Uh, this looks so good, octopus. Eva organized this. <laughs> it's just Eva gonna have. Ah, I love that. This is really, really cute place. It's like how beautiful. We're gonna learn something about local wines from Ibiza. I love that. Outside, yeah, really nice. So our local friends uh, were not sure about uh, our wine tasting here, but we want. We want to try. You know, you just never know. So this hibiscus wine, it's Malvasia, ninety-four percent of Malvasia and seven percent of Macabeo. It's very smooth, light, and then we have some cheese and, oh my god, pairing with Manchego, it's insane. And it's really not high in acidity, so it's really nice. Uh, very light, a little bit too light for my taste, but Ruta is loving it because, yeah, she loves it. And as we said, it's made in French barrels. And actually, the one that we really wanted to try, which is this totem, they don't have any more because yeah, because what they are producing, they are producing a limited amount, around one thousand to one thousand two hundred bottles, because they are um, using the old vineyards. These are the ones we're trying. They mark every single wine. They know the number out of this many. This is 939, which is such a lovely touch. Mm -hmm. And this one is 171 out of 1206 produced this year. And hibiscus is basically the their signature flower. Yeah. So these are the free roses that we are trying now. So if you're a fan of rosé and you're living in London, they do produce and distribute in some London stores, not the main store, but a particular store, and we need to check it out, but we'll put you the link. And my, I love rosé, and my favorite is this one, the Totem La Vetta. Very light, very elegant, very easy drinking. This one is nice too. This one is quite high in, in alcohol, it, and it, you can taste a little bit more alcohol, but it's very easy drinking. But this one is just a chef's kiss of rosé. Who could have known? Huh? Who could have known that Ibiza has wine? I am pleasantly surprised. Because mm -hmm. there was like a lot of mixed reviews and, and, and feedback from the locals, but the wines are wonderful. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. Wine lover. <laughs> Love it. Video. This video, hello. <laughs> So we have a young sommelier with us from Ibi Ibiscus team. Yeah, yeah. She's the best. She's definitely she's the best. Job. Yeah, she loves her job and she's telling us so much about the wine. Look at your mom. I think that's a big part of my learning, my, my life, from my, my, team, my teammates uh -huh. from the customers of the world. Uh -huh.
Okay, now you need to explain. Okay, so that is the, <laughs> the glass globe. Um, it is hand blown. Um, and the difference with a clay amphora is that it won't add any flavor to the wine at all. It's just going to emphasize all of the aromas naturally present in the grapes. Wow. So here you have um, a wine globe with a 100% monastrial grape. Okay. So that's the red totem we're talking about, yeah, right? Exactly. I'm gonna try with chocolate. So why are we are trying now wine with the chocolate? Well, I think I've been thinking of um, the Syrah. Okay. So obviously you can have some meat that could go very well with that barbecue or some smoked meat. Yeah. Know? Okay. Interesting. I would say. Or the chocolate. I was thinking um, maybe chocolate mousse or something a bit greasy because the Syrah is a bit like crunchy in your face. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my god, we had the best, best time in Ibiscus, guys. We cannot, hide, we cannot recommend enough. We got some souvenir glasses and then we got some like ice bag and then we have some wine for tomorrow because we want to finish in style. Oh god, it was so Ruta is looking amazing. so good as well. Look at her. She's like a princess. There's no white princess. And oh, our, 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 our ride is here. Okay, so we are on the way for the dinner after wine tasting. I mean, it's just perfect. Um, and we're sitting in the front because madam sometimes have a sickness in the back. Not an alcohol sickness, I must say, just a sickness in general. Um, and we are going to the restaurant called La Paloma. Rated very well, recommended by our friends. Uh, food must be amazing, so we're gonna try and check it out. I'm so hungry, cannot wait. We had the best time at the wine tasting. It was such an amazing experience, and honestly, wine is delicious. Cannot recommend enough. If you're in Ibiza, go for that experience. Really good. Yeah, Eva, what do you think? Totally. to the restaurant. Eva, how are we feeling? <laughs> well, we love the outfit. Driving, I'm okay, okay, okay. It's fine. We that. managed because our dinner reservation is at 8.30. So we needed to fly. We needed to fly. Okay, we're coming to the restaurant. We're gonna film uh, as much as we can, but just always conscious about the people, like, you know, so yeah. So the food arrived. This looks so good. Octopus with some delicious aubergine that apparently was on the menu for 10 years. Okay, we're gonna try. Very exciting. Beautiful setup. Okay, so this is the main ravioli with all the things we are sharing with Eva. Because we had Not so that much sharing. Yeah, but we had the food and tasting before. I'm so full, but we need to try. And this is a dessert. It's the meringue with some cream, strawberries, berries, pistachio. It looks so good. Shots. A little shots on the house of limoncello to digest. The vibe is really cool. We just finished our dinner and it was amazing. I think one of the best places we've ate in a really long time. Absolutely. So, 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 so nice. Everything from starter to main to dessert. I even not a dessert. I'm not a dessert friend. I wanted to repeat the dessert. Yeah. We're With gonna write everything down, what we like, total. but. I mean, I want to say what we didn't like, but it does not exist. We're gonna write down everything we liked, and Ruth is running to catch the taxi, so yeah. I need to run. 